my wrist. Yeah. Spend a bag on my bitch. Yeah. Spend another bag on a whip. Yeah. Make it count still a little lit. Yeah. Looking like I just hit a lick. Yeah. Still riding around with a stick. Yeah. Fakeness made me sick. The fuck? <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Been a delay in videos. We we're supposed to make one with Dylan. He's gonna go shoot Christopher's car, but he's uh, too busy falling in love. That can wait, though. We can always shoot Christopher's car, that's why. But today, it's a beautiful day. Yeah, we're in the Supra right now, and we're gonna do the first mod to the Supra. This is actually the very first mod to the Supra. No, like, uh, small mods. This is like the first actual mod to the Supra, and it's a big one. So, we're gonna get the day started with some breakfast and coffee. We got the coffee and the Jamba juice. You know, me, I'm not a coffee drinker, but we have to get the special tools. You know, Germans, they like to run special tools. So, what is this guy doing? He's already halfway out. So, now we're gonna go get some breakfast for this. It's not really gonna be a long day. It's probably gonna be like a three hour job at most, I like to say. Yeah, we had to get an external torque. I think that's the only special tools we need. And other than that, we should be ready to go. That's All right, guys, we're waiting for our breakfast over here at Rise and Shine Cafe, baby. And this is the Supra. All right, we're gonna slam this bad boy on some KW coilovers. Oh, and we're gonna put the spoiler on, the 91 spoiler. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and eat our breakfast first, discuss the game plan. We got the Eggs, eggs Benedict. We got kind of messed up because of the Supra. This happens when you bang and turns. It's like. <laughs> Alright guys, I had to move all the cars around. This is the KW V3s. It's gonna get put on the Supra and then we got the spoiler. That finally came in, took so long. Now he's gonna bring the Supra and let's get this thing started. We're gonna see what the stock height is at, roughly estimate. Yeah, about 27, 27, 27, yeah, 27 half, 27, 27 quarter, quarter, maybe a little bit less, you know what I'm saying? Let's go check out the rear. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Oh, yeah. 28? Yeah, tw over, yeah, 28 in the rear. Yeah, maybe 28 and 116 or something. So we're gonna see how low it is after. Probably about an inch, an inch and a half drop. Going for the performance, baby. Spot, please. Are you ready? Oh! <laughs> Alright, let's go. KW, baby. This ain't cheap stuff out here. This is not no spring. Oh, <laughs> just kidding. Shout out to all the guys doing spring. Smell. <laughs> Damn. That's the rears, baby. Damn. What is in there? This is the uh, electronic dampening cancelers. All right, that's what it looks like. All right, we're gonna start on the back first. It's in the hot sun, baby. Yeah, baby, let's get it started. All right, guys, we got the back jacked up. We're gonna start on the back first. We went ahead and put the jack on the pumpkin itself and not the heat sink or the fins. I don't know why, I guess that's just to help with cooling. And then we put the jacks on the fucking jack points. Now we took off the wheels. So he's taking out the wheels and then we're gonna check this thing out, see what it looks like. All right guys, this is what it looks like. We got the separate shock and spring setup. Then they got the electronic dampener right here. We unplugged it. Then they got the wheel speed sensor. That's the two that you gotta unplug. So it looks like we're gonna have to remove this, um, this windage fucking plastic right here. Then remove the lower control arm bolt so we can sag it and get the shock on and stuff. All right guys. It can come out, but then yeah, we probably gotta drop them. All right, guys, we got it out. It's pretty simple. Um, I'll show you guys what we did. Took out this um, lower control arm bolt. Took out the shock bolt. The three upper mount bolts going into the body. We just sag this. But you gotta watch out for that sensor over there, though. So it looks like a, I don't know if that's the headlight sensor or is that just a height sensor. We didn't have to take out the sway bars or anything, but just make sure you take out the wheel speed sensor and the electronic damping. So it's pretty simple. We got it out. Just got to transfer over the upper mount and 
we gotta figure this out now going back in we had to go double check how the helper spring sits and if there's the, the shock has a left or right i don't think they have a left or right but we just gotta transfer over the top mount to this one and then that's how the spring should sit this one should be on the bottom helper spring then you got like a fucking there's a does the plastic one go on the bottom or top or does yeah it the abs one goes on the bottom okay yeah then, and then the metal and then the main spring and then the collar adjuster and that's how it should go back into the car <laughs> we're trying to figure out how, how how high to make this but we got everything on we got the top mount on the new coilover or the shock it's a 15 foot pounds torque so it looks ready to go all right guys we got the left side done we gotta go look up the torque specs though the instructions doesn't give it so we're gonna do the other side now and then we'll just do it one time we gotta figure out how to mount the dampener cancelers well we had a hard time with the lower control arm bolt lining it up but we got it in we're gonna do the other side now he's starting on it this fucking one bolt god that's fucking thing damn that's pretty cool. we got the other side in pretty fast a lot faster than this other side because like in every other video, the second side is always the faster one because you know what to do. But now we're looking up the torque specs and we're going to torque everything down. We got to mount the dampener cancelers. We're almost there. Then we're going to do the front. I think that one is a little bit harder, but just more stuff to take out. But we'll see when we get there. That's a weird shot. We got everything torqued down. Um, there's a torque specs online. It shows you the chart and everything. Just like the Germans like to do the torque plus angle so you torque it to a certain amount and then you gotta go like 90 degrees or so pretty simple now we're trying to mount the the cancers on the shock figuring out how it works pretty simple too just so that there's no warning message on top of your dash because we're not gonna need that anymore so we're almost done with the rears just gotta do this and then we gotta slap the tires back on all right we got the cancers in there and you can see it right here mount it up W supplying the hardware it's over do the other side and then put the wheels on should be good to go Let's double check make sure we got everything checking up <laughs> this is how it looks like there's the assembly right here baby oh it's the wrong way it's like this and this gets zip tied right on you got zip tie then you got double stick tape and zip tie German quality yes sir <sighs> All right, we got both of them on. We're gonna bring it down. Got the wheels on, baby. It's time. Right, nice and slow, baby. Is everything clear? Looks like it. Damn, it's sitting now. Huh? <laughs> you can tell the difference. Oh! Still can go lower, but depends how much you like. It's only one way to try to figure it out, baby. Let's see that tape and back up. Measuring was um. I think it was about like 28 and 116, 28 and 18. We're about 27 and 8 now. About an inch. Went lower about an inch in the back. You could probably go another half an inch if you crank it all the way down. All right, FedEx just rolled up. We got yeah. a delivery from Black Friday. Chanton, I was gonna tell them it's from my sponsors. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Oh, <laughs> psych. He wish. <laughs> Damn. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Back to the Supra. Oh. We're gonna do the front. Looks pretty good. Got a little sport look going to it. Let's start on the front. We're halfway there. Got the front wheels off. You got it jacked up. Yeah. Just make sure you take out all the wires, the lines, so they don't snag when you're taking out the strut. It looks pretty straightforward. It's a McPherson strut style, so it just clamps into the spindle. You loosen that spindle bolt. Hopefully, it's not seized in there or stuck. Maybe shoot some penetrating oil. They got the sway bar link in the back over here. Take out the upper bolts on top. Hopefully it comes out easy. So we're gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Sterling's talking on the phone, um, working again. You already know, fuck, I'm doing this by myself. Nah, just kidding. We're having some technical difficulties getting the shock out. I think we gotta remove either the toe rod in the front or the other lower control arm to give us more room to remove the shock. You're supposed to have a special tool that's how to take this shit out to spread the stuff, but now we gotta figure out which um, arm to drop so we got room. Yeah, baby. 
All right, we got it out. This is what it looks like. You just gotta loosen the lower control arm bolt to the body. It'll give you enough room to drop the whole assembly and bring that bitch right out. The hardest part was spreading the ass cheeks on this fucking, the knuckle, cause usually there's a special tool, but I don't know, this one is just kind of seized for some reason, but. <laughs> All right, we gotta transfer over the top hat, so you gotta compress the spring just to be safe before we take out the top hat. Spring loaded, baby. The most irritating thing that could have happened, happened, it's raining. So we had to move some shit around and now we're working. Then we got this tent though. So we got this pretty much buttoned up. We just gotta torque everything down. Do the other side. Kinda taking longer than we expected, but we're just kinda cruising, taking it slow. It is a newer car, so we didn't wanna fuck anything up. Yeah, there's a lot of sensors over here, but pretty simple, straightforward. And we gotta mount the damper cancellation, so almost there. Hopefully the other side will go by faster. Oh, yeah, I we got both sides in. We got the cancelers. Yep, yeah, got the cancelers in. Everything's tied up. And we just gotta torque everything down for the both sides and put the wheel back on. Take out the ride height. Make sure it's good. That's it. Actually went a lot smoother than the other side because we already knew what to do. I think the other side took us like hour or two, hour and a half. This side was maybe 30 minutes tops. So yeah, we're wrapping it up. Putting the wheels back on, got everything torqued, and then we're gonna see the right height. It's a long day, but we got it done. I'll say it went pretty smooth, just learning everything at first, but after that, everything went on quickly, so you guys need a Supra drop, suspension install. Oh, don't ask me. Nene! All right, got everything torqued down. See what it looks like on the ground. I'm pretty tired. I think all in all, it's a pretty simple install. I mean, it's just coil over. I think the suspension's done. We just gotta drive it and make sure there's no noises. Uh, the dealership finally gave Sterling the spoiler after they gave him the runarounds, but he's gonna cut these tabs off though. Cut the tabs off. So that I way we're gonna gotta drill into the trunk and then put the other strip of tape. To switch to plan B because that fucking wood demo saw could not cut that shit off. Gotta bring out the real tools. I thought I could cheat it. Alright, we cut that shit right off. Fuck, you don't need that yes. shit. You just need some dough stick tape. Who the hell is drilling into their trunk, baby? Not us. Not us. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, I'm gonna slap this thing on. I just gotta get it sunny. That's how you know it's an A91, baby. We're just trying to find the center. Ideal positioning for this spoiler, baby. To set off this rear trunk. We just made a couple marks on tape and then we lined it up over there and measured everything out. This is it. Alright, this is the completed look. Got spacers coming in for the wheels to just give it a little bit of flush look. The spoiler looks pretty good, pretty straight to be honest. Gonna take it for a spin, make sure there's no noises or anything. Pretty much done with the Supra. Take a shower, so we're gonna go get something to eat real quick. Took us almost all day. I mean, we weren't trying to rush it or anything. It's a brand new car, so we didn't want to fuck anything up. It's pretty straightforward, simple install. We just got hung up on some stuff because we didn't have the, like the right tools, so we had to um, MacGyver some stuff, but it looks decent. Better ride height, actually. It's not like super slammed or anything, but that wasn't what we were going for or what Sterling was going for, so. That was the Super on KWs. Um, we did the spoiler install. That was actually the stock spoiler, but it only arrived now. Tomorrow, I'll show you guys what it looks like in the day. I think he's gonna wash it, but we still gotta do some other stuff. Then he gotta get alignment. Yeah, I'll show you guys tomorrow, actually, but here he comes. Let's ask what he thinks about it. All right, Ooh. so what are your thoughts on the <laughs> day of work? Damn, yeah, I'm pretty tired. It was a little bit longer than I expected, but first time, baby. But next super we do. I tell him we're gonna show it tomorrow in the daylight, so. Oh. We'll show you guys tomorrow, but we're gonna go get something to eat, so see you guys tomorrow. Look at the rear, the rear slammed. Alright guys, welcome back. It's a new day. We're over here. This is the Supra. Looking good, looking good. So we just had to go um, get something from Home Depot. We actually lost one of the set screws for the coil so it locks the collar in place but I think we found the right ones last night we had to adjust some stuff on the shock and now we're just gonna make sure everything's even and put that set screw in and it should be done got to do alignment take it for a test drive on the freeway make sure there's no noises or anything and see how it rides this is the OE 
A91 spoiler. For all guys, I say the install on this car was like a 6 out of 10 maybe. The hardest part was just figuring out how the top hats transfer to the strut because you gotta reuse the front and the rear ones on these coilovers. Um, other than that, the rear was pretty easy. The fronts just gave us hard time because I had to spread the spindle to get the shock out. But once we found a way how to do it, the other side went by fast. So it took us uh, all day, but we weren't rushing anything. We were just chilling. Like I said, just gonna dial in the ride height, make sure everything's tight. And then just gotta take it for a test drive on the freeway. But well, there it is in all its glory, KW, baby. All right, guys, this is pretty much the setup right here, baby. Dialed in, just gotta get alignment, get to go. All right, that looks good. Everybody, we're gonna take this thing for a spin, see how she performs on the coilovers. All right, guys, we just got back from the test drive. Drove pretty good, no unusual sounds, but it's a little bit pulling. There's actually an opening right now to go do an alignment, so Sterling's gonna go take the car to get aligned. That's pretty much it for this Supra for now. Looks good, came out good. We're gonna go do the alignment real quick, and we'll see you guys in a bit. Oh, this is fucking sick Jeep right there. She Dylan, where you at, boy? Dylan! That could have been you, baby. All right, guys, got the alignment, got it to dial it in. Toe was definitely off in the front. There's no front camera adjustment for this. You have to go aftermarket. Actually, with the camera plates, you can, but other than that, good to go now. Everything's in spec. But that's it for this super vlog. How do you like the car so far? Pretty good. This been is two a months. two month review. I don't like washing it, though. It's yep. my first black car. Black is hard to take Dang. care of, but. Especially in Waihua, Red Dirt City, baby. <laughs> Pineapple land. Oh, <laughs> but yeah. The coilovers, what do you think? Pretty good so far. We're gonna soften up the front and then it's a little bit hoppy for me, but it's way better than any coilover setup I ever paid for. <laughs> yeah, I got that coilover bounce, but it's good to go. That's it. Hope you guys enjoyed how to install the coilovers on a Supra. Peace out, guys. So next Why time. So me? I'm the yellow hard. Why you so mad at me? Why you so? You can see